The mothership is uh pretended to be a follow type of show. That's right. We just got big ratings. I can make it on this show. A slice of the life and times of Dre Demetteo. How greasy am I right now? And her insane little family life. The mothership's a way of life for us. The mothership is a family. A modern family. Two years ago, my whole life fell apart, so I am starting over. I've decided to say yes to all the things I used to say no to, even this freaking reality show. I've never walked into an airport to pick someone up before in my life, but we're gonna do it today, because we're filming it. I've been offered reality shows, like proper reality shows for years, and I, I guess people always you know, have heard that our family life has always been somewhat crazy. Come on, bro, let's do it, let's hit it! I've always said no to them, and this year I thought, fuck it, man, I'm gonna do this reality show, why not? We'll just have a good time with it, so here I am, sitting in this American flag chair. How you doing? The old expression, it takes a village, and it really does take a village. I'm a single mom. It ain't f***ing easy. I got it. I got it. Blackjack, eat. Yeah, he has something. Whoa, 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 whoa! Come here! Come here! I rely on so many amazing people around me, and I think a, a lot of this show was born around just being so appreciative of everybody that really is around me. And a lot of it was born on an evening when Mike and Maggie were at my house. I think Dre likes to have people around more than other people do that she cares about. And once you get on her good side, she kind of keeps you. Filthy! Mike is my ex-boyfriend for many years. And Maggie is like one of my closest friends now. And I'm so grateful and so happy that she kept us all together. Normally, in a situation like that, Mike and I would have not really been friends. We never knew that she'd be this person to do that and that our children would become so madly in love. Do you love her as much as she loves you? <laughs> Dre and I were pregnant literally nine months to the day apart, and Renee came on his due date. So, you know, he and Bama are nine months apart, and they are just the best little friends ever. These two are getting married. Can you film what's happening? These two are getting married. Dre thinks they're gonna get married. Renee thinks he is too. He's not really sure what that all entails. <laughs> These two little kids um, really believe that they're in love with each other. They really believe that they're gonna get married. Renee, are you gonna be my son-in-law one day? Who the f knows? Sometimes Mike and I look at each other and we're like, is this what it was all for? Because I do believe everything happens for a reason. How's my hair, more importantly? Are you really as dumb as you sound right now? I'm Carter Blaine Smith. I'm directing this thing called The Mothership. Oh, look at this officer jackass. And I somehow became a co-star, which I still haven't wrapped my head around. How are we living? I'm living all right. Um, I just need to check my hair. Maybe you can do that somewhere else. Carter's my buddy. You smell that? Oh, I showered. Yeah. I showered. Not so bad, not so bad, not yet. And even with him, I felt like, all right, if I say yes to this show, then we get to hang out, have a good time, and that's what this is all about. Let me film this <laughs> jerk off right here. Yeah. We used to do it. True story. <laughs> Where's my boyfriend? I miss him. Hurry. Hurry. Michael Devin? Who's that? <laughs> Roaring <laughs> lion. No, 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 please. The second the camera comes on, you start acting. Cray Cray. Oh, Michael Devin, the rock songbird. Baby. 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 Probably thrilled to no end that he's taken a ride on the mothership. My role on the mothership is to uh, slow down the process as much as possible. It's not fish eye, I don't want By sheer uh, reluctance, resistance, and generally being a moody bastard. I don't see the point. Michael Devon is probably 25, 75, doesn't want to, want to work on the show. Tell me what you want to do today, Susio, hotshot director guy. I think sometimes he needs to be a little coarse, but I think he actually does enjoy it. If you really want to break into the house, I am pretty good at those kinds of things. I can always give him a little nudge, and he'll be all right. You think it's funny, old lady? I'm gonna get a shot of that old lady laughing at me. Monkey, my old monkey. This is my body pillow. 
Do you, have you not seen the snoozers? You should be wearing a bra, lady. <laughs> Monkey was my nanny growing up. She was my parents' housekeeper, and then she decided that she wanted to stay longer and become my nanny. Just your knees. You better hope I'm not pushing my lady. She's just the coolest old bird ever, and the youngest 80-year-old person on the planet ever to live. <laughs> Because she's surrounded by this crazy sh**. You look like you just got out of jail. Monkey really is secretly the real mother of the mothership. She really is the queen of that house. Uh, yeah, yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Five hundred. Five thousand. What the heck? Oh, my. Kids, Blackjack and Alabama. I love them as my own. We've always considered myself sort of the god husband. What are you taking a video of? You. Doing what? Playing piano. Okay. Alabama. Hi. She is a uh, magic Alabama. She's very brilliant with her artwork. Okay, okay, that's enough. We can't do that on the car, Alabama. That's enough. She's curious. She's like her mommy. She definitely um, is not short on things to say. Can I tell you something? Hey, did you hear it already? Hey, when are they gonna come out? Why do I look like that? Oh, it's my puppy. Puppy? Where's your pussy? Blackjack is a hysterical little character. He loves more than anything in the world uh, chewing gum. Mommy, I'm gum. He's obsessed with gum, really. Mommy, I'm gum! I'm gum, mommy. You want gum? His gum sugar situation is hysterical. It's Makes him bounce off the walls. No fear. She's definitely gonna be an interesting kid. You're like a junkie, man. <laughs> You're either gonna grow up to be like these incredibly cool artist types. What do you want to be when you grow up? An artist? I don't know. One of them's gonna be like a, you know, a banker and just try to fight the system of what she, he or she grew up in. Just say, I wanna be a fartist. Mm -hmm. huh? This is the crazy person house. The mothership is really all those people. I'm just sort of there giving birth to babies. I'm just there to make sure they don't get hurt while they're busy becoming awesome. Where is Blackjack, by the way? A lot of people think it's very strange, but, you know, we're a little unorthodox and we're we're awesome. We're an awesome family. We're an awesome mothership. Watch another episode of The Mothership. Click here. And don't forget to subscribe up here.